So here's the micro spikes bot in the cardboard tube that it actually arrives in, and this is fully recyclable, as well as the polypropylene end caps, which are, as you can see, recyclable on there. So this is the spike light in question. This is how it arrives, and essentially all we need to do is just cut this string off and we're ready to go. These are the finishes that is available as standard. So we've got bronze, which is RAW 8040. We've got black, we've got NATO green, and we've got quarter, and we can also do custom RAW as well. Now accessories wise, we have a glare guard. So basically an O-ring goes on the outside and the glare guard just literally just pops on, little twist and it is on and that's the glare guard in place. It also means that it can rotate around and it stays in place without it moving on its own. Okay, so these fittings you can actually take apart. So literally just unscrew this top here. That takes the top off and then there's this reflector inside. These reflectors are replaceable, interchangeable and they even take a little half moon or hex cell insert that pushes in the front of these um, if you want that option. You can also have 20 degree optics that go in here as well. LED is also completely replaceable. Literally this just pops straight out and you can pop a new one in. It's just held in just on these three pins just here. Wiring wise, it's pretty simple. It's all in series and you will need a constant current LED driver set at 350 milliamp, which is exactly what this is. So when you connect these up, make sure that the power is off. That's really important. And simply, if we just go here and we just start with the positive of one of these lights into the positive of the driver, into another Wago, we're using two, two, one Wagos here. And then from the negative of the first light into the positive of the next light, and then return. And you should see that the wiring is in one big series loop. And that's how it should look, whether or not you've got loads of boxes, etc. Every box you should open out, and there should only be connections with just two cores in each. So if we power those on, as you can see, that's just come on now and that's working as expected. So if I need to disconnect and reconnect everything, I need to make sure everything is off, otherwise you may blow an LED up. But for argument's sake, let's say that you get a red LED coming on. So with a red LED like that, that just tells us that one of the fittings is wired around the wrong way. You can see that this one is coming on red and that's just an indication for us. So we basically need to power off, switch around, power back on again and we're as expected. So these fittings are IP68 so you can see it's powered on right now and we do a tank test insert in there and that'll be left for an hour. So in terms of actually positioning the micro spike spot in front of a feature you don't want to position here that would be too close and all you end up with doing is having a really bright light here instead you want to be somewhere around about half a meter out from the actual feature so this spot right here would be really good and then you can just sort of angle the fit in slightly and that would do a really good job of actually picking up the trunk and picking up all the upper foliage and this is what the lights look like at night time